Hi there. Now, in brief then, for this question, we're given these two points A and B with coordinates minus 2, 6 and 3, minus 8, and asked to find the equation of the line L perpendicular to this line here, x minus 3, y plus 15 equals 0, passing through the midpoint of AB. Now, when I get a coordinate geometry question, something like this, what I would encourage you to do is to draw a sketch. And so, if I draw up my axes here, y and x, it just gives us a feel for the kind of problem that we've got. So the point A, minus 2, 6, that's going to be 2 that way and 6 up. So let's just suppose that's the point A then. Okay, mark it in as A having coordinates minus 2, 6. And then we've got the point B with coordinates 3, minus 8. So it's going to be down there somewhere. So that's B with coordinates 3, minus 8. And so the midpoint of AB is going to be somewhere around here by the looks of it. So that gives us an idea of the kind of coordinates we can expect for the midpoint. Now, the next thing is then that we've got to find the equation of the line L that's perpendicular to this line that passes through this point here. Well, in order to do that, I'm going to take this line, put it in the form y equals mx plus c, so that I can then just sketch it on this diagram. So if we do that, we've got uh, x minus 3y then, plus 15 equals 0. And if I add 3y to both sides, we just end up with x plus 15 equals 3y. Now if I divide both sides by 3 and reverse it round, I therefore have y equals 1 third of x plus 15 divided by 3, which is 5. And I can see that a line like this then has got a very shallow positive gradient and crosses the y-axis at 5. So you're looking at a line, maybe something, something like this then, okay? So since that was 6 up, I'm assuming that's 5 up. So that's the line then, y equals 1 third x plus 5. So I'm looking then for a line that's perpendicular to this, passing through that point there. It's called L. So maybe it's going to look, say, something like that okay so uh, that's going to be perpendicular I'll just enlarge that blob there just so that we can see that it passes through that point there now when it comes to the equation of this line I know a point on the line the midpoint so I can use that point when it comes to working out I'm going to look at the form of the line y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1 okay so x1, y1 will be that midpoint there. So m will be the gradient, and I know that the gradient being perpendicular to this line, the gradient of this line is a third, so using the perpendicular gradient rule, I therefore know that the gradient of the line L, let's just mark L in as this one here, okay? The gradient of that line must be negative three. Remember, we reciprocate this gradient and uh, switch the sign. So that's going to give us a perpendicular gradient then of minus 3. And you can see, very steep negative gradient. We next need to get the midpoint. Okay, so let's just say uh, the midpoint of AB. Midpoint, we'll just say AB. And to do that, we take the mean of the coordinates A and B. So for the X coordinate, we've got minus 2 plus 3. I'll show the working here. Minus 2 plus 3, and that's all divided by 2. For the Y coordinate, it'll be 6 plus minus 8. 6 plus minus 8, and all of that's divided by 2. And that gives us a coordinate then of 1 half. And for this one, it'll be minus 1. And that looks pretty good, OK? It seems to be in the right place, so a good valuable check. So we've got everything we need now to be able to get the equation of the line L. 
So I'll just write up here the equation of L is, and using this form here, it's going to be y minus y1. y1 then is the minus 1 equals m, the gradient, which we've seen now is minus 3. And that's multiplied with x minus x1. x1 is the half. So let's just clean this up. We've therefore got y plus 1 equals, and expanding the bracket, we get minus 3x plus 3 over 2. Now we've got to get this in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. So I want to get rid of that fraction here. So I'm going to multiply throughout by 2. So therefore we get 2y plus 2 equals minus 6x, and then that will be plus 3. So all I need to do is add 6x to both sides. That gives us 6x there, plus the 2y. And I'm also going to subtract 3 from both sides. So I'll have 2 minus 3, which is minus 1, and that equals 0. And that's in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are integers. So, okay, I hope that's given you some idea then on that question.